how to create a 3d post for facebook quite interesting did you notice the 3d animation on images people upload on facebook do you also want to make such type of 3d animation without having an iphone this video will help to make such type of 3d posts using photoshop and you can upload directly from your computer you can download the files using the link mentioned in this video description you upload both photos on your facebook wall and get the 3d effects i have also linked the pdf file for your better understanding before starting this tutorial let me explain the whole logic in photos you have two type of objects near objects and far objects near objects are mostly brighter and far objects are little darker why the far objects are little darker and the nearer objects are brighter it is due to the depth in your photos and you calculate the depth using the depth maps depth maps give you the information about the depth of the images how far or the near objects are if you want to make such type of 3d animation you should differentiate it through bright and dark color tones and this is the key to this 3d animation if you are a photographer or a 3d animator i am pretty sure you are very well aware of such type of techniques if you are not any one of them don't worry about this this video will help to understand it very well let's start work on it i selected this image and we will change it to a 3d facebook post likewise i showed you at the start of the video let me crop those buildings through the quick selection tool i have now that building layers if you see that the buildings are towards to the sky it is showing the depth can you feel the depth over here okay let me add more clouds to make it further impressive let me fit the clouds according to my stage I guess this area is better. Let me make them little brighter. These steps are not mandatory. The clouds one and to make them brighter. I just trying to make it impressive. That's it. So this is my master layer. Let me save it. I am going to save it in PNG format. Let me save it master. Okay. Now I am going to make a depth layer. See the all steps carefully. I am how I am going to make the depth layer now. Okay. I am going to make a gradient layer over here. Just make sure this layer is darker than the building one. I'm also going to color those buildings. I guess this is better. Yes, that's it. Let's duplicate the buildings, move it up, and color those two. This is my depth layer. In this example, the dark color represent the far images, which is my background, and light color represent the near image, which is those buildings. You can use any color, but make sure the tones are brighter and darker to show the depth. Let me save it. I will save it to PNG. So I can say that master underscore depth. Just make sure you write underscore depth so Facebook can recognize it easily. Save. Let's go to your Facebook page. Up 
upload the both images. Master and master dev. Let me upload those images and see what happen. After uploading the both images, Facebook will, Facebook will recognize it and will start making the 3D image automatically. Let's see what happened now. It's taking little time to load. Yes, see this? It automatically started making the 3D photo. And it is exactly the same which I showed you in the start of the video. Let me move my mouse. See this, you will get such type of effects. If you, li if you like it, you can download the both files from the description of the video and can upload it on your Facebook wall. Let me show you another example, something like this. In this example, if you see that the clouds are 3D. However, in this example, which I made it now, the clouds are not 3D. These are just buildings and the background is moving and the background is the cloud and sky. Now I'm going to make something like this. I'm going back to my Photoshop. I'm only going to disable the cloud layer. Now it's time to duplicate the cloud layer and bring it up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it darker. What formula I told you? The brighter images are near and the darker images are far. Let me make the clouds more darker. Yes, something similar. And going to save it. I will not touch the building colors because building colors are already bright. Save as PNG. I am going to override the master underscore dash. Okay. I am going back again to my Facebook page. going to upload the photos I don't want to create again upload master and master underscore depth which is the cloud one now open the files are little heavy so it's taking little time so see this what will happen now See this, the clouds are 3D now in this example. The same I showed you before. So this is how you make the 3D post for your Facebook. Doesn't matter which image you select, but please differentiate it between the darker colors and the lighter colors, and you will get such type of effects. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please do not forget to subscribe for my upcoming videos.